Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna go over every item in my portable productivity desk setup for remote work. With this modular setup that fits in a single backpack, I can work from anywhere in the world, writing my book, recording podcasts, making YouTube videos, and generally trying to live my best life. I'm gonna go over the four modules of the setup, so hopefully you can get some inspiration for your own remote work desk setup. Let's start with module one, the essentials, starting with my daily driver, the trusty 14 inch MacBook Pro. It's got the M1 Pro processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte solid state drive, which is good enough for basically everything I need to do. If I'm editing videos, I do need to edit off an external SSD, but for everything else, this setup is absolutely perfect. I also consider the Leuchtturm 1917 notebook to be part of my essential module. I've really been enjoying journaling recently, and it's been great for thinking more strategically about my business and my life, and the journal also sometimes acts as my personal therapist. The two pens that I like to use are the Lamy Swift rollerball pen and the Lamy Safari medium nib fountain pen, which I switch between depending on my mood. I also always carry the iPhone 13 Pro and my professional AirPods in my pockets at all times. If I'm in a cramped space like an aeroplane or I'm just doing a small amount of work, I'll just whip out the journal or the MacBook and get on with things. But if I'm settling down for an extended work session, I'll add in the second module of the setup, which I call the Obnoxious Digital Nomad module. This is based around the Oripura laptop stand from Herman Miller. They're not sponsoring this video, but I am a Herman Miller ambassador apparently, so they do send me free stuff sometimes, which is pretty sick. Anyway, the stand folds down in a super compact way and slots into the notebook compartment of my backpack. When I whip it out, it helps elevate my laptop and helps my posture so I'm less likely to hunch over. Item two in the obnoxious module is the Apple Magic Keyboard, which again is super thin and light, so slots into my bag easily. This is the version with Touch ID, and it means I can type stuff while my laptop is extended. While I do enjoy a good mechanical keyboard, nothing beats the portability and reliability of the Apple Magic Keyboard. Next, we have my favorite mouse, the Logitech MX Master 3S in this beautiful white color. It's the perfect mix of ergonomics and performance, and way nicer than the Apple Magic Mouse I used to use when this Logitech one wasn't available in white. And finally, to complete the setup, we've got my Sony WH-1000XM4 noise-canceling headphones, again, in this beautiful white color to complete the color-coordinated set. I tested all the popular noise-canceling headphones on the market, and the Sonys were my favorite. When I'm trying to focus, I'm normally playing my Study With Me Spotify playlist, which includes banger soundtracks from Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and other marvels of cinema. This setup carries me through most of what I need to do on a daily basis, but sometimes the occasion calls for something a little bit extra. That brings us on to Module 3, the Content Creator Module. The first item in this is the Shure MV7 microphone with tripod stand thingy, which is perfect for impressing people on Zoom calls, but also for remotely recording episodes of my podcast using Riverside.fm, the best way to record remote remote audio and video podcasts. Again, they're not sponsoring this video, but I do happen to be an angel investor in the company, and I use the app multiple times a week to record episodes of Not Overthinking, the weekly podcast I do with my brother, and also some episodes of Deep Dive, the podcast where I interview entrepreneurs, creators, authors, and other inspiring people to find out how they got to where they are and the books, ideas, and technology that can help us along our shared journey of personal growth and just trying to live our best lives. Anyway, the microphone is great because it means I can do podcasts from anywhere in the world, and Riverside conveniently records high quality audio and video locally, so however crap my internet connection is the podcast still looks and sounds amazing. Next up in the content creator module, we've got my vlog camera, the Sony A7C. It's not quite as fancy as some of the other Sony cameras, but it's the perfect combination of size, weight, and features to be able to do everything I need to do. I normally have the Sony 16 35 millimeter G Master lens attached with a Peter McKinnon ND filter and Sony's ECM B1M shotgun microphone. This camera is great for recording YouTube videos on the go or taking banger photos or even connecting to my MacBook and using as a webcam for podcasts if I'm feeling frisky. The tripod I'm using these days is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod, which is great for tabletop and vlog use. And then normally in my overnight bag or suitcase, I have the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod, which I'll occasionally bust out if I need a proper tripod for recording YouTube videos. Another funky item in the content creator module is the Insta360 Go 2, a tiny action cam that fits into a case the size of AirPods. The case acts as a mini tripod, and the camera comes with this really cool necklace that I can wear under my shirt and magnetically attach the camera to, to capture first person footage in a fun way if I'm vlogging. And then finally, I usually carry the Joby Telepod in my bag as well, which is a tripod for my phone, which is great for doing time lapses or using my phone as a spare camera or as a podcast recording camera if I need to. Then finally, we've got module four, the accessories module, which again stays in my bag at all times. First up, we've got the Apple wireless battery pack, which is handy for when my phone starts to die. Secondly, we've got the Apple MagSafe Duo charger, which means I can charge my Apple Watch and iPhone overnight if I'm staying somewhere. Then there's the Morphe cable kit, which includes three incredibly useful cables that have saved my life on a bunch of different occasions. I also always carry the Sony headphone adapter for airplanes and a wired pair of lightning headphones in case I need to take a call on my phone and my AirPods are being weird. There'll be links to all the products mentioned down in the video description 
attention and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet checked out my deep dive podcast, you should totally watch the interview I did with happiness researcher Mo Gauda. It's one of the conversations that's most impacted the way I see the world, and I hope you'll get some value out of it too. Thank you, have a great day, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video.